are watching shares of Phillips 66. Elliott Management taking a $1 billion stake in that company, seeking to add two new directors to its board. Elliott said in a letter that Phillips has lost focus on its refining segment and is underperforming Marathon Petroleum and Valero as a consequence. Shares right now, you can see they're up just almost 3.5%. Joe, you own this one. So let's let's understand something. When when Elliot steps in uh, and Paul Singer is trying to affect chains, uh, you have to raise your awareness because he's got a very successful track record of doing just that. In particular, in the energy industry, you mentioned Marathon Petroleum in 2019. He stepped in. He was able to affect significant change. In fact, ultimately, the CEO, who was there for 45 years, stepped away. So what what they're targeting here is the fact that in 2022 and 2023, when we saw the significant spike in refined products, the criticism is that Phillips 66 kind of pivoted away from what their core business was, which was refining. They moved towards natural gas, petrochemicals, liquid fuels. Elliott now wants to kind of reposition them. They believe they could take this uh, valuation for the company up by 75%. That's what they they measure, I think they're going to need a little help from the oil markets themselves appreciating in price. Uh, but this is something to pay attention to. And by the way, last point on all of this for this year, Phillips 66 is actually performing relatively well so far year to date. It's up 13 percent. I believe that's the fifth best performance uh, for an S&P energy company. You know, I mentioned Marathon, but actually Elliott mentioned Marathon. They were an activist investor in that company back in 2019. Uh, basically led uh, people that read the letter to say they're going to follow a similar playbook. So does that give you confidence? Do you want to add to your position with the idea that Elliott's involved? Well, it's it's not a position that we can be adding to. We go quarter to quarter. Okay. We take the position and we go from there. But I'm, I'm comfortable with the positioning and the fact that Elliott is present here doesn't concern me at all. I actually think it's a good thing. All right. Again, shares up almost three and a half percent. We've got a few more committee moves. We're going to stay in the commodity space. Weiss, you bought more Freepoint McMoran. I did. I'd leave Surratt's here as well. I, I know. I wear an yesterday. agreement. So. Yeah. Um, you had nothing to do with my purchase, by the way. <laughs> the, <laughs> zero. Um, uh, look, it, it's undeniable that you need more copper for what's happening with autos, with EVs, etc. It's been kind of puzzling despite the ramp. And the ramp's been more talked about than actually occurring. Uh, that copper is not higher. But I think at this point it traded down and now it's moving up. It's still where it was about five years ago. Uh, so I would expect it finally to catch to catch a bit. Um, I traded out at Freeport at high prices. I bought it down, bought it back at lower prices. And for me, it's also a hedge against my view on the economy, which I do think is deteriorating. All right.